IPAS path access list. To configure an access list filter uh, for BGPAS numbers, use the IPAS path access list command. To remove the filter, use the no form of this command. So this is the uh, command IPAS path access list name either deny or permit and regular expression to permit or to match the AS number. And this is how you remove it. Syntax description, name, AS path access list name. The name can be any alpha numeric string up to 63 characters. Deny, deny packets with AS numbers that match the regular expression argument. Permit, of course, uh, permit the packets with numbers, ES numbers that match the ES number or regular expression argument. Regular expression, a regular expression to match BGP ES path. So here, this is another document that you can check out. Command modes, it is configured in the global configuration mode. Usage guidelines. Use the AES path access list command to configure an AES autonomous system path filter. You can apply autonomous system path filters to both inbound and outbound BGP paths. Each filter is defined by the regular expression. If the regular expression matches the representation of the autonomous system path of the route as an ASCII string, then the permit or deny condition applies. The autonomous system path should not contain the local autonomous system number. So this is an example of how you can configure an AS, an AS path filter for BGP to either permit or deny AS numbers and apply it to a neighbor for either inbound and outbound filtering. This is the related commands. Filter list assigns an AS path filter to a BGP. So I'm going to show that to you later. Uh, show AS path, show IPS path access list. Displays e information about IPS path access lists. So this is a document from the Cisco website. So <clears throat> I have a, I decided to to read about this particular feature or accessless filter for BGP uh, for BGP autonomous numbers <clears throat> uh, so I have created a I have created a uh, diagram or a basically lab it up myself so this is the the uh, network diagram I have prepared the they have prepared this document or notes. So I basically have the pre-check, implementation plan, test plan, and rollback plan. So pre-check, let me just uh, show you the diagram while I'm reading this. Uh, Pre-checks. Check if prefix this here which is in our diagram, this network here, is being learned from RTF, RTA, and RTC routers. So you have to check if this route is being learned from basically RTF, RTC, and RTA routers. So let me do that. Actually, I'm just gonna try uh, doing it in on this router so I see that I'm learning it from this next top which is this IP address also gonna try it on RTA actually <clears throat> the same command here Oops, didn't work. So I'm learning it from RTF. So this is the next hop, 
172.16.1.2. Let me see if I'm learning it from RTC or RTC is learning it. So as you can see on the screen, I already tried it before recording this video and I am learning it. Oops. I'm learning it. So that's config that's verified. Number one is verified. Of course you can do the, the these uh, two uh, commands as well. So RT uh, my mouse is acting up again. So as you can see I'm <clears throat> this route is in the I in the BGP table. And of course, if you do this command, you will see it in the routing table as well. Uh, it's being learned uh, via BGP. Number two, so if so, configure ASPAD access list route map and apply it to the neighbor. And uh, soft, this should be soft, uh, clear. BGP process for that neighbor. Perform changes below. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna try both filter and filter list, which is this command here that you that you can apply to a particular neighbor here. So implementation plan. Um, I actually, like I said, tried this myself. Uh, RTF or RTA. <clears throat> so basically, what I'm trying to do here is uh, prevent this route from being advertised to RTC. Because if this route is being advertised from to RTC, I mean, from this a from AS number two to RTC, it means that uh, AS three is being the trans is being the transit AS, right? So, um, in this case, we're just, go we're just we're just going to prevent this route from being advertised to RTC. So, that is basically the the goal of this lab. So, RTA going to RTA, so this is the implementation plan. I'm going to verify from RTA if these uh, these commands are there. So RTA <coughs> and do show section BGP. Oops, actually gonna do begin BGP. Okay, so in this case, ASPAT access list one is already configured. So this command, meaning that this is the origin path or ASPAT. So, so and the route map is configured, already configured as well. As you can see, uh, basically denying it. Uh, I mean, this route map, uh, full deny five, and I'm matching the ESPAT that here, ESPAT access list one, and then route map, basically, you know, matching <clears throat> everything else, right? And I'm actually as it says here, applying the route map outbound to this neighbor here, which is RTC, right? So RTA here, it's not applied at the moment. So I'm just going to do this command for that route to be not advertised to RTC or AS1. Okay, and of course you can save the config and then uh, clear. 
IPBGP neighbor soft. This is one approach. And another approach is this one. So you basically matching uh, the origin uh, AS number, which is in this case number two, AS number two, and then applying the um, ASX list to the neighbor, which is this neighbor, and then save and then uh, <clears throat> reset the BGP process. And this is how you can verify verify it. And rollback basically negating the commands that negating the commands. And I have a cheat cheat sheet. So num one is PRAS. So basically in this case, if I want to uh, you know, match for the PRES of RTA, that would be this AS number, right? Origin AS, that would be, well, this here, AS number two. And transit AS, that would be AS3. So it depends on how you're going to apply the, the filter list or the route map. Of course, here, this is basically a regular expression to match your own routes and prefi or prefixes. Uh, number five is basically route uh, matching all the routes. And this is the references that I got this, that I have for this uh, video. Okay, so now I'm going to try to add this route map to the neighbor and see if from RTC I will stop from I mean I will not once I applied this route map I will I should not be seeing that route map I mean that route from RTC so let's do that that would be RTA right so apply and then save the command and clear IP BGP soft, neighbor soft. So I'm going to RTC and see if that route is gone, which is gone, which is correct. It's gone, right? And I can also do show IP route. It's not there anymore. Show IP BGP. It's not there anymore. So I'm trying to trying these commands. And actually, I can add show IP BGP. I mean route the BGP the routing table basically. And I can, of course, this is something that I should try from the I should issue on the RTA router. like it's not working here oh I know so out of dashes so the filter list or the AP or AS access sorry the AS path access list that I applied is this here the deny which is no no sorry <laughs> let me also verify that uh, show run uh, begin BGP. So I applied the route map, not the filter list. Okay, so I'm gonna undo the command. I'm gonna undo the command, which is this here. Here. I'm gonna go to the BGP route and process. BGP, what's the yes number? and then I'm gonna say no and the neighbor and I should be seeing the route map I mean the route clear IP BGP 
I should be seeing the route or the prefix from RTC again because I removed the, the policy or the filter. So I BBDP, so it's here again. <clears throat> so next I'm gonna try approach two, which is I'm going to RTA and verify if the access list, I mean the AP access list is here. I can do that by doing begin BDP. It's actually right here, as you can see on the screen. Tier number two, tier. So I'm going to apply that to the neighbor. I'm going to router BDP AS3, yeah, AS3. Neighbor, uh, what's the neighbor IP address? This year. Filter list. There's a bunch of commands that you can actually do. So I'm choosing filter list and then the the AP the ES access list number is two, and then I'm, I'm gonna apply it outbound. Outbound meaning to RTC. And I'm gonna do save, and I'm gonna soft clear the BGP process. And I'm going back to RTC and see if the route or prefix is gone which is gone. <clears throat> okay, so there is a problem here because it's denying everything else as well. Um, I think we should we should say Permit. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can figure this out myself. Permit. Let's say own own AS. So that would be this. <clears throat> RTA, where was I? I'm on the wrong router. Going back to RTA. So I'm gonna actually do this. Permit, there should be a permit here. Cause the this route is not being learned anymore from RT on RTC. So I'm going to add this to RTA and see if it, if, if it's going to work. Okay. Going to verify the configuration. Okay, it's there. I'm gonna do save and soft clear the BGP process. Let me go back to RTC. Hopefully the the route is back. I mean, this route is here again, which is correct. So this is not part of the uh, plan but I kind of figured it out myself because of this cheat seat that I have here. So now I can from RTC I'm learning this route via BGP and I'm learning the connected routes which is I was not learning before. See it's it was blank it was blank earlier. So yeah, that's uh, 
our change is successful and of course uh, I just added this rollback plan uh, as part of the just assuming that these you know uh, routers are in production so yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching